to reach 1,000 yards, uh, you know, late in the game, what does that mean for you and uh, personally, and then for the team? Um, I mean, obviously, you know, reaching 1,000 yards is a big deal, especially as a running back in in the Big Ten. Uh, I mean, not many people, uh, you know, reach that mark. I mean, especially here, we haven't had somebody do it since uh, 2011. And I mean, I think it's just been big for the team. I mean, I can't thank the <coughs> offensive linemen, man, my fullbacks and tight ends, and everybody that's out there enough uh, for going out there. And, you know, given given they're all just a you know block for me, make uh, so I can get yards. And uh, even though they might not get all the glory and stuff, I mean, I can't thank them enough. They've been doing an excellent job all year, and you know, it's been allowing me to you know get the yards that I have. And you know, I just can't thank them enough. Your big run was a fullback ISO. It looked like uh, ready to get a block on that one. Yeah, he got a real nice block and allowed me to slide right through. Uh, you know, get a stiff arm, and obviously we'll love to finish the play, but, uh, you know, it was just an excellent job by everybody involved. Uh, they, they all got to the right spots, and then all I had to do was go make a play and go out there and run. Was hey, when you were flying home. bit about uh, not finishing your play? Huh? Akron finishes his play. <laughs> Is he in your ear a little bit on that one? Uh, nah, him, him not as much. Some of the run, young running backs, <laughs> yes. Definitely gave me yeah, definitely gave me crap about it, but uh, you know it is what it is. I mean, he did finish. Akron did finish his. I gave him plenty of credit, but you know, I, mean, I end up scoring anyway, so it's all right. When you flew home from Penn State, where did you think this season was going to go at that point? I mean, obviously at that point in time, I mean, I had no idea. Uh, you know, that was the most frustrating loss that I've ever been a part of since I've been here. Um, but you know, we knew that. You know, especially as a senior class, that you know, we couldn't go out like that. Um, you know, we got back together, you know, that next day. We were like, uh, this isn't going to happen. You know, we, we're not going to go out this way, you know, these last three games of the season, especially you knowing that we had a, you know, a top-ranked team such as Michigan come in that next week. We knew that we had to go out there and we had to give it our all. And I think over the last three weeks of the season that everybody's really just been believing in each other. You know, even though we've had our ups and downs that, you know, these last three weeks we were going to finish strong and we were going to play together. We are going give to give it everything that we had, uh, especially as seniors, you know, to finish off our careers right. And I think that's just been something that we've done the last three weeks. Unfortunately, your career's been defined by injuries, but how good does it feel to be standing right there, get all the way through the year, and, and you had your best year as a collegiate football player? Uh, you know, it's just... Just uh, you know, just blessings. I mean, you know, I can't can't really explain it. Um, you know, obviously, you know, early on and even last year, you know, I was dealing with plenty of injuries. You know, it's, that, that's just part of, of being a college football player. You're gonna have your ups and downs, and you know, unfortunately, mine just dealt with injuries. And you know, I knew that you know, with it, this being my last year, that you know, I had to do whatever I can. Uh, you know, each and every snap because I don't know when my last snap could have been, uh, especially with my history, injury history. But you know, to be out here and you know, finishing the season uh, the way that that you know we wanted to, it's just been a, it's just a great feeling. What's it like knowing your younger brother had a lot to do with those thousand yards too, leading the way for you? It's kind of make it more specialized. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, you know something that we can share with each other, you know, for the rest of our lives. I mean, it's something that you know that my family has really been enjoying uh, over the entire year and. Uh, you know, him and the entire offensive line, they've been doing an excellent job the entire year. But, you know, to be out there with my brother, uh, you know, the person who's basically been my best friend, you know, ever since since we've been little, um, you know, it's, it's something that you can't describe. I mean, it's feelings that, that, you know, we'll carry throughout the rest of our lives, stories that we'll tell our children and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just been great. I know one goal you guys have talked about all year, but I haven't mentioned it today, is winning a bowl game. You've never done that here in Iowa. Is, is that what kind of... You guys feel like you need to sort of complete this season? Yeah. Um, you know, we finished we finished off the last three weeks the way that we wanted to. But, you know, we know that we're not finished yet. That, you know, we still have one more to go get. Uh, you know, no, no, nobody on the team has won a bowl game yet. And, you know, that's something that we're going to have to do. I mean, we're going to obviously play against a quality opponent. So, uh, you know, for right now, you know, we're going to enjoy this win. But then, uh, you know, when it's time to get ready for the bowl game, you know, uh, you know we got to make sure that uh, you know, we're preparing. Right way. What were the thoughts and feelings as a senior during that post game celebration on the field with the trophy? Uh, I mean, plenty of emotion. Uh, you know, because obviously you want to win all your trophy games, uh, you want to win against your rivals, and obviously on senior day you want to finish off with a victory. And you know, the, the way that we played today and you know, being out there with your teammates, the way that we were celebrating, you know. After the game, I mean, it's just something that you know I, you can't really describe. You got to be, you got to be part of a team like this, uh, you know, to really experience it. Because obviously, we've had our ups and downs throughout the entire year, and to finish that way, to finish the season that way, I think is, uh, I mean, it's undescribable. I mean, I can't thank thank everybody on this team enough, and you know, I can't thank uh, Coach Ferentz enough for giving me the opportunity to come here and play uh, Division One football. And uh, you know, it's just a just a rush of emotion and. 
uh, you know, stuff that I'll, I'll take with me for the rest of my life. How do you feel about yourself right now, having done what you've done? Uh, I mean, uh, feel pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's, I've been doing, you know, whatever, pretty much whatever I can to, you know, help the team. And uh, obviously, running football has been a big part of it this year. But obviously, uh, you know, in third down situations and pass blocking, all that stuff. You know, I've just been trying to do uh, whatever I can, you know, to help the team get victories. And uh, I feel like I've, I've I've given it all my all, especially in this this last season. Uh, you know, for the team because you know I love everybody on the team. You know, my brothers. Uh, you know, uh, so. Like I, I left it all on the field. So you got What's a thousand like? now. Akram needs thirty-four more to get to a thousand. You gonna know, let him get those in the bowl game? <laughs> of course. And I want to, uh, you know, obviously both of us getting a thousand yards is something that we, we talked about, you know, before the season started. We even talked about it uh, a little bit uh, last season that you know that's something that you know that could possibly be done. And you know, uh, Akram's been doing an excellent job the entire year. I mean, he's just a uh, big play waiting to happen, and uh, I think uh, you know he'll he'll reach the mark um, because he does too many things too many things well for this team. Uh, you know I just wish the best for him. Along those lines, I mean you guys are the most productive tandem in Iowa football history. Uh, I, I know you don't set goals like that, but it's got to be special to be a part of that, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, of course. Um, you know you want to you want you uh, you always talk about leaving the jersey in a better place. You know being being the best that you possibly can, uh, you know, while you're here at, at the university, and uh, that's just something that you know that we've been setting out to do. Um, you know, I feel like that we've both made uh, numerous big plays throughout for the team throughout the entire year. Um, but obviously, you got to give plenty of credit to the to the linemen, you know, the fullbacks, tight ends, receivers, everyone out there. Uh, they've all been contributing to you know us making big plays, and you know we can't thank them enough. Okay, thank you, Lieutenant.